I'm Sarah, a tutor at Accountancy Learning, and in this video I'll take you through the Management Accounting Techniques AAT Sample Paper 1, Task 5. For this task you'll be using Excel, and it's all about the preparation of budgets. On screen here you can see the complete question, but I've broken this down into stages in Excel. So we can now look at the first part of the question. So we're told that Mac Office Supplies Limited is a supplier of office equipment and stationery. The owners of the business would like a budget preparing for the next quarter for the sale of all current inventory as they are looking to promote new ranges. The inventory is held in two locations, the warehouse and the shop, and an inventory account has taken place in both locations at the end of the accounting period. So the first part then, we are going to be working in the summary worksheet. So at the bottom, you have your four tabs down here, and we are working in the summary tab to start with. The first part of the question then is in column B, use a formula to identify the total number of each item held by linking the appropriate items in the warehouse and shop worksheets. So if we take a look then, we've got the shop worksheet here and we've got the warehouse worksheet here. And you can see that in both of these sheets, all of the items are sorted in alphabetical order. So this will make our linking quite easy. say that we want to find out the total quantity of each item. So we're going to take our warehouse item and we're going to add that to our shop to give us our total quantity of that item. Now we've done that, we can copy and paste that formula all the way down for every item. The next one then, the executive chair Redback has a fault and can no longer be sold and we need to delete the row containing this item. So we can scroll down until we find the executive chair Redback. We can right click and delete that row. Moving on to part B, we're still working in the summary worksheet and we're told that all items of inventory have a current selling price. The business owners would like to see all products sold for a minimum price of cost plus 35%. So we've got the current selling prices here, and then we're asked that in column E, we calculate the selling price for each item as cost plus 35%. So we're now gonna be typing in our column E, so we are going to want to take our cost per item and we need to increase that add-on 35%. So the easiest way of doing that is times in it by 1.35. Again, we can now copy and paste down all of the items. And now we've got the selling prices in column E, which is cost plus 35%. The next part then is in column F, use an if statement, which selects for each line the higher selling price. So in this column here, we need to put an if statement in. So the higher of these two is put into this column. So we're going to say, if and what's our test going to be for the if statement and we're going to say if e4 is greater than d4 if that value if that is true e4 is greater than d4 then populate the cell with the value from e4 if not put in the value from d4 
So there you can see it's picked up the higher of the two values. So again, we can just copy and paste all the way down. So it does the same for each item. So whether the current selling price is higher or the selling price, which is cost plus 35% is higher. Now moving on to column G for the third part of part B. Use a formula to calculate the total cost for each item of inventory held. So to do that, we're going to take our total quantity and we're going to multiply it by the cost per item, which gives us our total cost. And once again, we can copy and paste down. And then for the final column in column H, use a formula to calculate the total, total budgeted sales for each item. So again, we're going to take our quantity and we're now going to multiply that by the minimum selling price per item because remember we've already got the formula in here to pick up which one is higher and that will then give us our budgeted sales and that down the final part of this section of the task is in the colored cells under the table of data calculate the total figures for cost and budgeted sales. So if we have a look down here, we can see there's two cells in yellow and we need to add up all of these figures to bring a total. So the easiest way is to do a sum formula, highlight all of the cells that you want added up and that gives us a total and that can be copied over to the sales as well. So we've got total cost and total sales down here. The next part of task five is sitting in the budget tab. And we're told to complete the budget for the next quarter by completing the following in the budget worksheet. So first of all, we are asked to link the figures for sales and cost of sales in cells C6 and C7 from the total figures in the summary sheet for budgeted sales and total cost. We then need to calculate the gross profit in cell C8. So these are the three cells here that we're going to be working in for the first part of this task. So let's start with the linking. So we can say our sales, total sales, which is in column H, and we're going to link to that cell there. And likewise, for our cost of sales, we're going to link to column G for our total cost into that cell there. And that now brings through our sales and cost of sales. So our gross profit formula will be our sales less cost of sales to give our gross profit. We're then given some extra information relating to the budget about labour costs, storage costs and other overheads. And part two says calculate the information required in cells C9, C10 and C11. So we're now working in these three cells here. So labour costs then, so we're told labour costs is 500 hours at £15 per hour. So it's 500 hours at £15 per hour to give us the total labour cost. Storage costs for the quarter is 73 items at £100 per item. And then other overheads. A lot of people here, so be very careful, a lot of people here, especially under exam conditions and the, and the stress, um, will instantly just put 75000 in the box. But the other overheads are given to us on a per annum basis. So it's 75,000 per annum. But we're doing the next quarter. So actually, we've got to put in 75,000 and divide it by four to give us a quarter's worth of the overheads. 
And then finally, calculate the budgeted operating profit in cell C12 for the sale of the existing inventory. So for this one, we're going to take our gross profit and then we need to take off these three here. So you can use a sub formula by selecting all of those and having it like that. Or if you wish, you can click each one and take each one off. And that gives you your budgeted operating profit of £46,064.